<laughs> Snobbot is a very exciting tool in that it collects data from animals non-invasively. And when you have a new tool, you really want to test it out on different species. It might work on a humpback whale, but not on a sperm whale. So recently, we've been going around the world to different locations with different whale species so we can understand the efficacy or the effectiveness of this tool we call Snotpot. We want to know what human impacts make whales sick or affect their health. So Snotbot is a tool that actually collects the whale's exhalation, and in that exhalation is all of this priceless biological data from DNA to hormones that can tell us, is this whale healthy? Is this whale sick? Is this population healthy? Is this population sick? There are locations in the world that are literally biological hotspots and the Azores is one of those locations. The Azores really are like a playground for marine biologists. There are so many different species here. There's so much biodiversity out there in the ocean. Sperm whales are actually an amazing species. They're a very charismatic species, and they're actually a very interesting species from a scientific point of view. They have very low genetic diversity, and we've actually never sampled them. We've never studied them with Snotbot before, with our drones. To understand whales and whale populations and whale population health, we really need genetic information, we need DNA. That's almost a who's who of whales. How diverse is the population? Uh, where are their key habitats? How are these animals related to one another? We really need all of this information to understand whales and to protect them. All right, so I've just collected my first sperm whale blow, which was a big deal, because I just love these animals. This is a really nice, big sample. I think Ian was in the blow for a while. I think he collected maybe eight or nine blows there. So this is a lot of material, which is super exciting. And, um, you know, this is the first time we're working with this species, so we didn't really know what to expect. And this is a good sign so far. Honestly, really exciting. I'm over the moon to have collected my first sample because we've proved we can do it. And now we just have to get down to the meat and potatoes and working out the protocols and what works well and what doesn't. Great day. Thank you. Thank you. I believe it. Avogado. Thank you so much. Thank you for this night. Thank you so much. Wow, incredible. spectacular. See you later, get some rest and get those samples ready. <laughs> and, and prepare some more for tomorrow. You yeah. got it. Once we're back on land, our day is not over, so we have lots of samples to process. And what we do is we unwrap all the dishes that we kept in the cooler and we take flexible cell scrapers, almost like a little squeegee, and we squeegee each of the plates and so that all the sample collects into like a pool. And then we're able to pipette that sample and put it into a cryo vial. We collected enough samples that we can now send these samples to our analysis partners to look at the results of DNA, microbiomes, and hormones of these whales. So now our lab partners are gonna look at these samples and tell us some of the results they've seen. And then from there, we can understand more about this population of whales. We all need to understand healthy whales, healthy oceans, healthy humans. We all need to be doing something to help save the ocean. It could be something very small, just recycling one extra piece of something a week or picking up a piece of garbage that's on a seashore. If all of us could just do one small thing a week, I think our oceans would be in much better condition. My reality is, I don't want to live in a world without whales. That's just where I stand. But I say to all of you, healthy whales, healthy oceans, healthy humans. We need healthy whales. It's in our own self-interest. 
We need to be thinking more about the oceans. We need to be thinking more about what we can do. And I ask you to care about Wales.